Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Now I've left off exactly where I started last time with Jeb and Bob dead and, and nothing else basically so I have, a, I have a good choice and a bad choice. Oh, I mean bad, like, it, I, I don't think it really fits. <laughs> so, the good, I, I think, like, reverting flight, that means that the death wouldn't have happened, and n nothing would have happened, basically. Time would have gone back. But I could press space center and just accept that they're dead. I, I, I want to press I, mm, you you don't really get a say in this because I, I upload them like a week before so well not upload I record them like a week before they actually come out so all you can say is like what I should do in like five weeks so <laughs> but actually at this point uh, one of my videos has come out and like when you're watching this the second will have come out and this is on the 11th I, I do plan it so I think I'm gonna just accept that they're gone because they they do respawn it's not like I've just lost them forever the dead they do respawn so because I'm pretty sure I've got the respawning setting on 93 percent sure and only ninety three. Yeah. I I I I I don't I don't want to to die. But I I I I hope that they do get revived soon. Maybe like in five episodes they come back. Cause that's like a fair amount of time. They come back like every five episodes. Fifteen episodes. <laughs> No. Password. Uh, it might be the password for your computer. I'm doing a video anyway. Password for my computer. Five letters. Okay. So I, I, I they, they might have actually been revived already because it took. Because it, uh, I've not, I, because like this, uh, this is still recorded multiple hours after mm, the other one. It's just, I do, so Lost, Missing, Bob and, uh, Jeb. So, I, I, I want to get another scientist. I like all of them scientists. Okay, Valvi Carmen and Lenball Carmen. You know what it is? No. So now we have four available, so shouldn't happen again. This time I am going to add like 20 parachutes to make sure that it doesn't crash again. I'm just, I'm, I'm going to add a bit too much. Ah, I might actually want to lift it up a bit. Well, I guess I don't, like, I don't care. It's not, it's not that bad. So crew, I, I want my crew to be Valvi and Lembo, so yeah, that, that is going to be my crew. And this time, I'm just going to be a bit silly with the amount of parachutes, honestly. Hey, I don't want that happening again. That was, that, that was a lot of sad times. There, so that's four parachutes. And I don't think that every single one of my five parachutes will fail. That that would be unlucky. Mm -hmm. 
Because that can go as high as you need it to. Okay, so I think it is just fair at that height. What is that? It's a bomb. Oh, okay, I'm doing a video right now. Oh, stop. Yes, so I'm going to try to get to orbit. I probably won't get to orbit. I want to get to the moon by the 15th episode. That's a very that's that's a very long way away, so I should have mastered orbiting by then. Yay. Like the, the things being higher didn't change much other than it being like that tiny bit more stable. And I don't think it was that bad last time anyway, so it didn't make that much of a difference, but I, I just like to keep my ship safe. Valvi and Lenball don't, don't look happy for some reason. Why aren't you happy? Should be happy. Why aren't you happy? Tell me. Val Valvi. Why aren't you happy? And, and Lenball just looks scared, very scared. The same thing's only going to happen to you that happened to the last people. Uh, 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 but, but, but safer, obviously. You're not going to die like them. Uh, I'll just stop speaking about that now. Yay, we're heating up. Everybody loves heating up and overheating and exploding. And that might have been part of the cause of the death of Bob and Jeb. I I don't I don't think you can actually get like a a perfect curveball, so like maximum courage and uh, minimum uh, stupidity. Oh, now they're looking quite happy. Well, I, 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 I forgot to tell them that there, there will, there will be explosions. Sorry about that. As soon as I say that, their faces just go straight. When can I deactivate these engines? Okay, we have like 200 left, 100 left. Soon we'll pretty much be out of fuel. Okay, we're out of fuel now. Now let's uh, get a bit higher. That's the only thing that really fits what I'm trying to say. Has this really only been 49 seconds? See, see, that, 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 there's the explosions I forgot to tell them about. The ones that have, uh, they, they, they those explosions won't even kill them though, so. They, those, those explosions just happen on every, uh, like, uh, on every like version of this ship. Okay. And because that's much lighter, it should float higher. Oh, I guess so. But now we have five parachutes instead of one. Do uh, do they all go off at like? Maximum altitude. Maximum altitude. 
We need them all to go off at maximum altitude. And then the normal one at normal altitude. I think I feel I feel like I'm just being a bit too safe now. Like it is just going to be a very long and boring wait uh, when we actually do. I guess I can turn that off now. Log pressure data. 33 science. Wow. Okay, log temperature. Yay. Now we're pretty much safe. And now our wonderful Kerbal uh, Valvi can go into the crew thing and know what it's called so crew cabin mark one mm, go in mm. why, why aren't you going in I want to transfer the crew. This, this one. Well, let me let him go to this one. Just, just move, please. It would be amazing if. We, oh, I, I guess he needs to stay in now, actually, because. Interrupted, I guess it said. Look, that's where we landed last time. Are we gonna land there again? No. I feel like that was just a dangerous area to land because I remember saying it looked nice, but it's still a pretty dangerous area to, area to land because uh, you don't know if you're landing in water or on land. Which, it's dangerous, it's definitely dangerous for, like, airplanes. <laughs> or whatever you call them. It's just, they, they are, like, space planes. Yeah, space planes. Like, if, you're, if you're gonna land a space plane there, you'll probably want to move it a bit forward, because you could uh, crash into one of the many, like, little uh, pools that are there. But you can only see one from up here. I, I think they're happy, so we'll speed up time. I'll get through the very hard bit. Yeah, look how many lakes there is. There's one, two, three, four lakes. There's four main lakes. One's small, like tiny. And it's big enough for a vessel to land in. The other two are about the same size. Okay, we're falling through the upper atmosphere. At like a thousand, or a kilometre per second. That's actually pretty slow. I'm not sure that's correct. Okay. Now we're feeling a bit hot. Okay, we're literally going into the water. Okay, okay. Once we've got out of the hot zone, I think we're safe. We're out of the hot zone. Yay. Okay. I think as, as soon as it says risky de to deploy the parachutes, I'll deploy the parachutes. So it's a bad idea, but who cares? Just, just never deploy them when it's unsafe. Yeah. 
here, come on, it's safe now. <sighs> okay, now it's risky to deploy them. There. Deployed my parachutes, deployed my parachutes. <coughs> About 5,000 altitude, yes. At a, about 5,000 altitude, all four parachutes did come on. And then once we get to a safe height uh, to do it, we will uh, cut all the other parachutes because we know that it's safe. But the vessel might be actually a bit too heavy because last time when it crashed, that was the first time I had added the crew cabin. I have a feeling that it might have been too heavy now. Who cares? No, oh, I, I guess the carbles care, but... Because um, it's pretty much, like, I'm, I've pretty much, like, got them to... Uh, I don't know. I, I can do whatever I want with them. Like, I can... I can make Valvi jump out and die if I want, but I, I would not do that because then I'd have to lend Wolf, who's a scientist. Can I eject these? I can eject these. Well, that was a mistake. I just ejected the main parachute with it, but we're safe anyway. We've got four other parachutes. It's not like we're gonna die. Probably gonna die. We're not. We're going up four meters per second, and it's like, and what I know, seven meters per second is safe. So we're safe. I'm sure of it. No Kerbals died in the making of this video. But the Kerbals died in the last video, so. Uh, the, the. Well, I hope no Kerbals die in the making of this video. I'm still recording it and if Kerbals die in the future of this video I will have to say that Kerbals died in the making of this video well I won't have to it's just <coughs> why do you go down so slowly Even my parachutes, like, were, like, came out at 10 kilometers, I could make, like, a, I could make a sushi in that time. And then I could eat it. And then I could wash everything. And then I could, uh... I, I don't know, uh, play another game and then I'll come back and I'll only be 5,000 meters. I, I don't know why it takes so long to use parachutes. I guess uh, on other places uh, with atmospheres uh, like Leaf, I guess it could be annoying as well, but not many other places have a proper atmospheres. Okay, I obviously Carbon has one. I think Carbon probably has the best one to support life, although Leaf is pretty good for supporting life. In a few 
future the video i should like tr go to life with like all the science checks like see see what actually makes it good for the kerbals to live there because like, now you can probably build some houses on life like when you, and you don't need to wear a space costume I, I, I should do that I, mean, I, I should build like some houses uh, and then like bring them to a different planet and then like let the kerbals live inside them but they, I'll probably have to like put uh, I'll probably have to put crew cabins and stuff inside the houses the houses would just be for like I guess looks because it would be a cool video. I could send it to Minmus because Minmus is very flat areas, but it's also quite bumpy in other places. Or I could send it to Life, which, like I was saying, is pretty good for life. So they could they could just walk around like it was a normal day. And I don't know how I got into this topic. But I did. Uh, how are we at our Apple Apps? That makes no sense. We can't be at our Apple Apps. Oh, we're nine minutes away from our Apple Apps. It's a definite Apps. Yes. Ah. Why don't we just splash? Like, look. Hey, why do why do these kerbals have to wait so long? Uh, I, I I don't know. Maybe like kerbals. Like I don't know. Kerbals can sit in like a hot soup. Like an hour just, just waiting to land. Well, I know humans can't. Are kerbals built differently? Like, can they survive like the heat of the sun? be quicker just doing the EVA like, from the moon so imagine if you could actually do like an EVA from the moon jump off then land at the Kerbal Space Center that, that would be clever You'd have to be very clever to do that, but because you'd have to like know where you're gonna hit, and it, and it would also have to be like the exact right time of day because the Kerbal Space Center is um so small compared to Kerbin, like that it would basically have to be an exact time of day. But you could also use the parachute to like move around, but it'd be like it would have to be like within like half an hour that you could actually like jump off the moon because <laughs> like, like you would have to get sunk to actually get you off the moon because there's still gravity like you maybe you could have like a tiny little ship which just got you like out of the atmosphere enough to get into space and i know that you won't go straight towards it you'll kind of like float towards it and also you probably you'll probably be pulled into orbit or something like that so it's but still you would have to have like a, a very exact time i, I want to try that i but i know it will be a very bad idea 
kind of I kind of want to try jumping off Minmus. But that's even worse of an idea. Give me the piggy. Yeah, there. yeah I, I think that... Oh, oh. When are we gonna land? Like, they're just sitting there bored. I think Valvi is trying to make Lenball feel happy. It's not really working. Oh, I hate those two. Well, I, I, I couldn't use, uh, I couldn't use Bob or Jeb, so I had to use these. I know. They, didn't Bob and Jeb die? Yeah. I hate those guys. Kill them. What's so bad about them? Kill them. No, 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 no. Not killing them, even if you say they're not even proper. They have the white suits. They're, they're talking to each other, I think, because I want Jeb. I want Jeb and Bob to come back now. You could have still got Valentina and Bill, but you chose to use those those guys. Because I I need a scientist. I'll I will start a protest. To get Jeb and Bob back. And you were like, oh no, don't uh, recover, not recover, uh, revert the flight. Yeah, but when I saw these poppers, I'm, oh, come on. Why did I just call them poppers? It, well, it was your choice. You, it, get I, them back, get them back. No. <laughs> okay, it's fine. They will revive. If I sit here for two hours, do nothing. When we land, I never understood why it took so long. Like, I know how to slow you down, but why it's taking so long? Six hundred meters high. Uh, when will this end? Nine minutes of this video is falling with a parachute. This video will get no watch time. And the click through rate will be like through the roof. I, I, I want to see it like splash down. Good. Yeah. I've got Georgie picked to bed now. Yeah. No, no, no. Can I keep Georgie? Can I take it back to Georgie? Good night, George. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I just said to you. Well, I think my guinea pig probably needs to uh, get to bed while kids. They're nocturnal, so they don't really get to bed, but uh, I guess they would need to still. Oh wait, wait, I can't eject the heat shield. It's annoying, I like ejecting heat shields. Oh, we're like 250 meters above. I hope that we will land. Uh, land, please. A hundred now I can like turn it down to three times speed. Yeah, uh, two times speed now. Okay. 
with 15 meters above water. And we're soon gonna splash. We're gonna splash uh, right now. Splash. If we sink, I'm gonna be so mad. It's always bad when you sink. We were just like for a second a meter underwater. But we came back up. It wasn't anything bad. Okay. I, I think after such a big mission, it's taking ages to load. This has been a long video with not much done. Well, okay, so we've got 124 science. Okay, what can we get with that? Might control. That's it. Okay. This is basic science. It gives us rechargeable battery packs, the science junior, experiment storage unit, radiator panels, a high gauge antenna, and another radiator. Yeah, I guess so. Heavy rock quick we give you give you the poodle which is okay. Oh this would just give us more fuel. Will this give us oh, that's aerodynamics would give us an inline cockpit. This is space exploration. kind of want that <laughs> bye guys i hope you enjoyed today's video bye